Penny Forts with rejection free formula, no calling, no chasing, no convincing. And in this video of Funnel Kit, we're going to be covering step five. Um, I went and cleaned up a little bit of the uh, page and tried to make it look nice, nice, and change the buttons. And, and I took off the actual opt in form. Uh, I'm kind of making this like a step page. So I'm just, you know, I just wanted to look nicer for this, um, for what we're going to finish up here. And so that's why I kind of went ahead and, and did this and just took a few extra minutes to do that. So step five, we're going to talk about um, callouts and what callouts actually are. And what callouts are is these, these boxes that are going to show up here. And they're basically additional messages to either alert your page visitor or um, to, you know, get them to uh, make a decision. And so it's, it's basically trying to apply scarcity. And we have all these things down here that you're, you're able to use that I didn't cover before, but you have variables that you can change, such as a countdown timer. You can put the um, you can put the date, the time, the city, the state, the country. So uh, even here, I can put something that says from the desk of Danny Forts, and then it says um, only for marketers in whatever city. So uh, it's really cool the things you can do. But we're going to do this for college right now. And um, we're going to hit the Enable Callouts button, okay? And we're just going to go through this like we did everything else. So um, we're going to use a yellow for this, uh, for these callouts here. And we're going to do the opacity as, we'll leave it at 100%. The width we can leave at 100. Padding, let's just not do anything at the moment. The margin. Um, I'm not sure if this is from the margin is actually from the, the right side of the page or not. Um, we will do round corners. Um, this is the reference of where you want it to on the page, top right, top left, bottom right, or bottom left. So it's either like it's it's always it'll always be in the in the corners. Um, whoops. Okay. And and then you can also put how many callouts you want. So let's just. For the sake of this, we're gonna we're gonna put three, and this is your content area that you can uh, put your content in. You can also change the timer, and you know, one thousand means one second. So these are in milliseconds. So I could put this at three thousand, and put this one at uh, six thousand, just for the sake of this demonstration. So let's um, let me just go here and put um. Let's see. Only for only for presidents. Actually, only for I'm going to use this the city thing. So it's percent, and then you type city, and you want to have the first letter of the capital so it knows. Only for city marketers. Uh, actually, how about this? Only three spots left. Spots left for marketers in, and then I'm going to put the city here. City here, and then I'm going to put the time, uh, which we get down here. This is a countdown timer. So we go like this, we just copy this mess. We're gonna put that right here, paste that there, and you also gotta have a percent sign after it as well. Um, and you can put how many hours the countdown is. So let's say if it was 10 hours, 10 hours, 43 minutes, something like that, and whatever seconds, let's say six seconds for the heck of it. Okay, let's just hit save. And now you're going to see um, we had put all these on the bottom right. And you're going to see when we go to this page and refresh, you're going to see these callouts start popping up over here. So this is a really cool feature of Funnel Kit. It's kind of nice. See? Only three spots left for marketers in Phoenix. Now you can see that I don't have this big enough right now. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. We're going to make this a lot bigger. So the width of this was only at 100. We're going to make this 300. Uh, that's number one. 
Um, what we're also going to do is we are going to center this and bold it as well. See if that helps make it look more pronounced. Be good there. Let's try this again. Okay. So now they're wider. We see that, um, but they're still not the size I, I'd like them to be. So we want to make these thicker. So let's do um, the width. Let's do padding. Let's do padding at ten, and let's do the margin is fifty. See if we get any of that right. Again, you don't have to be a genius to do this stuff. So a lot of times you just got to play around with it. Okay, now these are definitely bigger. I like the size of these. Maybe this round was a little too big. So, but we got we got the point. We're getting we're getting the look, or at least the, what we wanted. So that part I'm at least pleased with. So the margin, did that come off 50? Yeah, that was roughly 50. So let's say if I change that to 100, but change this to a width of only 200, and we still, we made this change the padding to five. See how that works. There we go. Much better. I don't think I'm uh, too pleased with the amount of spacing that's in there. So I know which one of these that I do. The margin was probably the culprit there. So we can definitely change that back to 50. And I think we would be good. And I almost have it the way, at least I was kind of aiming for to show you this on this tutorial. Okay, only three spots left for marketers in Phoenix because that's where I live. And then it starts doing the countdown. So yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Um, the other thing that you could actually do with this is let me just show you something else you could do. So on these individual um, callouts here, um, you could have, let's see. Do, 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 do. You can make these, um, the backgrounds, like, transparent. So let's say this op opacity here. We can actually get rid of it and put it, like, at zero. And let's say we wanted to change this as the text color. So now we could go over here, and this is a cool trick that you could do. We can go and change all of these text colors to this, this, this yellow. second one and here is the third you're probably wondering why it didn't change yellow over here you can tell it is yellow it's like when you change it to white and you can't see it, it winds up being a problem so I like the fact that he he did that on this plugin so okay so these should all be yellow now whoops no nope. the text is yellow but I didn't want the background so what did I do here? Color, color opacity. I thought there was a way. Well, either way. Um, I don't think that was it for sure, but. You could also add media, so you could put pictures and so forth, and, and use images instead. So let's say if I grab, um, let's let's just grab something here. Let me just add like a fourth one, a fourth call out, just so I can show you. And this will be the last thing I'll show you. So um, let's just say I wanted to get a. Let's do with a Facebook. 
icon. If I can find one. All right, let's just use uh, one of these here. Yeah, let's just use this one. I'm not sure if this is a big enough size, that's the thing. All right, either way, let's make this quick. I know I got a ton of graphics in here, so let's go with, um, let's go with here. There's some social media stuff here. Yeah, these will work. So I'm going to go here for a second. Add this. And we're going to add this like button here. Let's just do that. Okay, so we'll go back to our funnel kit page. We're going to step five, we're going to add this. Add this right down here just to show you. Whoops. Where's the call out? There it is. We're going to have a fourth one. So this should be right down here, which it is. Add media. We're going to add this. Insert into post. Let's center that. And we should be good to go. Okay, obviously you could link this stuff too, but why would you want people leaving your capture page? So, unless they were really leaving. Okay. Well, that put it right inside. That's not what I was tempted to do, but anyway, you get you get the point of uh, you get the, the whole point of this which was to, you know, make these callouts and um, be able to use these. And so um, I hope that helps. And on the next video, we're going to go through some of the exit scripts and things like that in the last step and naming the pages and cool stuff like that. So nothing real major, but enough that uh, I still have to make another video. And I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like this plugin so far, you can just click on the link, get it for yourself. There's a, uh, it's 15 bucks or a $17 version as well. So, uh, and I'll see you on the next video. Talk to you soon.